Hi everyone, I am back with another DIY project. This time I am DIYing a coffee table. I'm taking a piece of furniture that I have found on Facebook Marketplace and I'm going to give it a bit of a makeover and make it look vintage and something like I've seen in Amber Interiors or Studio McGee. Okay, so my new bad habit is constantly scrolling on Facebook Marketplace. I can't help myself, I am become addicted to bargain hunting. So I found this coffee table, it's literally right in front of me as I film this intro right now. I found it on Facebook Marketplace, I think it was going for like 20 quid, I managed to get it for 10. I went, drove my car, grabbed it, and I loved it. I've been living with it in my living room, you know, it's actually all right for the kind of finish that it is at the moment. I just knew that I always wanted to make over it and I was waiting for the right time and today is the day. I'm really inspired by these vintage looking coffee tables. If you go back a couple of videos, you will have seen the kind of dresser desk uh, makeover I did. It's actually a desk, but I use it as a dressing table. I'll link it in the bio for anyone that's interested. And that one I really did like kind of leave it quite raw after I kind of, um, bleaching isn't the right word, but it is kind of the bleaching process of stripping it basically of its finish and again when I DIY'd my uh, bed bench that's at the bottom of my bed I was very purposeful with the chisel and the uh, jigsaw of making it look rustic and look like it had some knocks to it and yeah I love that kind of look of like a vintage style and this is what I want to recreate with the coffee table. I think I can do this fairly easily. Um, I'm going to follow some of the same processes that I did with the bench, making it just look like it's been with me for generations and I just happen to inherit it. One of the things we are going to do is we're going to have to lift the varnish. There's so many different methods of like, and I've tried them all really, I've tried the bleaching one, I've tried the oven cleaner one, I've tried another one off the top of my head that I can't quite remember, but there's also a very simple, well, there's two simple ways of removing a varnish from a piece of furniture. One of them is sanding, which you could be there for like 84 years uh, doing so, especially on one like this, there's so many little kind of like intricate bits on this coffee table for like I will be here forever and I just get bored. Other one is to use a varnish stripper and that is what I'm going to do today. I'm going old fashioned method of just using a product that is designed to lift. So this is the product here. I've used this myself ages ago when I was doing the kitchen makeover. This is what I actually use to lift the paintwork. Um, from our kitchen. I highly recommend it. It's very effective at what it does. Now it is maximum strength, works in 20 minutes, so it does get the job done on heavy duty, you know, projects. This one I don't think necessarily needs heavy duty, but I'm just gonna still use it, but just be very cautious with how I use it. I believe in America what product you can use that is similar to this is citrus gel or something like that. I'll link it down below, but this is probably the best kind of alternative here in the UK. So I'm gonna use this, as it says, works in 12, uh, 12, works in 20 minutes, will be usable after about an hour or so. So I'm gonna use this and then that's when we're going to distress the table and then the final step will be to stain it. have completed the paint stripper or varnish stripper on the table and things are definitely happening. I don't think necessarily this is going to be a 20 minute job, I think it's going to be a bit longer than that, but it's outside at the moment. One thing to note about it, it is so bloody strong, <laughs> like even outside I was like, Oof, need water, <laughs> need some water fast. And I remember now what it smells like, it smells like I might lose some people that are not from the UK, although do let me know if you have them. Pear drops. They're like a hard boiled sweet. I don't even think they taste like pears, but I remember pear drops being like a thing, like a Victorian sweet that I used to get all the time from like my grandparents. That is what it reminds me of. It smells exactly like that stuff. So nostalgia. I'm gonna leave it out there. I'm gonna keep checking on it in the yard and just make sure it is okay. But moving very quickly this DIY, so I'm very, very happy. I think literally the next bit is to scrape it off and then leave it for like an hour or two 
and then start distressing it. Okay, okay. Uh, it's been a couple of hours. I've taken the dog for a walk and I was just leaving this to dry as I stripped it. I had to do a couple of methods. So across the flat surface, it was very much using the scraper. That was fine. When it came to all the intricate bits, it really struggled. I used a sander block and that very much disintegrated very quickly. So I do need to go and get another one. I did find though using like a bucket of water with a damp cloth worked well on getting some of the bits off. I'm honest, I'm a little bit tired right now. I need to crack on with some other work I need to do. So I'm going to leave this project here today and pick it up this weekend. Hi, hello. Are you coming to join? Do you want the coffee, me, or are you just wanting to be part of the shop? Okay. You know, I'm in coffee. Hi, guys. We've got a needy dash, so he's just gonna sit here until he feels a bit too hot, and then he's probably gonna wander into the kitchen. It is a couple of days later, but the stripping of the table has completed. It is now time to de-stress this coffee table and turn it into something vintage. My plan was to use a mixture of the sander, my jigsaw and chisel with a hammer to create this look. So staining wise, I think I'm leaning towards dark. I will put the picture up here. I'm just pulling it up for my own reference, but this is exactly kind of the look that I'm going for with this table. And also this is the kind of finish that I want. That is the plan today. I'm gonna do this all outside. I'm going to have to put you somewhere sneaky though, <laughs> so that they can't see that I'm filming. So probably at the kitchen door. Um, so yeah, if I'm not talking or explaining anything, this is why. I feel silly still doing it in front of people. So I'm gonna, oh, hi. I'm gonna get on with this DIY. I'm gonna put you at the kitchen door um, just so that you are a bit out of the way. All right, should we go? Let's go and do some DIY, yeah? have water actually it's really warm oh right inside for a bit because it is boiling out there like it's really really warm but the project's coming on really well I think I've found a technique specifically for this where I want to create like that kind of like look of that like, you can still see where the pieces of wood were joined up if that makes any sense whatsoever but basically I use the jigsaw just to curve the side side bits use the chisel to get the line um, now i will admit when you go flat with it i started to take up big chunks which is not what i was looking for so i'm gonna have to add those in somewhere else on the table so it doesn't look like a mistake and then when you get the power sander what you can do is really get in there and really sand it down smooth it down obviously so there's no splinters but you can really kind of get that groove going and it is exactly what i was thinking i wanted like i wanted like kind of faux plank look if that makes sense so i'm gonna crack on with this um, I'm gonna bring you inside though because even at the door the camera is telling me that it's overheating So I'm going to crack on with this a little bit give the camera a chance to cool down And I will come back to you guys in a bit, but hopefully the next time I'm talking to you the table will be completed
my god. Oh, hello. You're going to join? All right, hello. Anyway, hi guys. It's been a couple of hours since I spoke to you guys. Just needed a break, but brought the table in and... <laughs> okay, so Josh isn't cooperating. Here's some close-ups of the table so far. I am obsessed with it. You know when you've thought of something and you're like, I can't actually believe it's working. Like, that's how I feel right now. Need to stain it now, I'm not gonna lie. Looking at it in its natural state, I kind of thought, ooh. Oh, it looks really good like maybe I should keep it that way but no I think staining is the right way to go so as I said at the beginning of this I've got a walnut stain that I'm gonna use so I'm gonna go outside load up some of the cardboard downstairs just to protect the courtyard and yeah we're gonna spend the evening staining away this beautiful table and yeah should be done and ready to reveal very very soon Good morning guys. It has been about a week since I last spoke to you. You can see there's something happening right here at the side of me. I can't wait to show you this. I've had this table decorated for like just 24 hours and when I say obsessed, like, like I mean obsessed. Like oh my god, I am so proud of the styling that I've done. I, right, I need to just show you kind of what happened. Here is the reveal of the coffee table makeover in three, two, one. Like, oh my god, like, I can't tell you how proud I am of the styling, like, it is just, in my humble opinion, stunning, like, it is everything that I've wanted to try and achieve in this home and more, like, I absolutely love it and I'm obsessed with this coffee table makeover. I am so happy that I did this DIY, like, oh my god, it's so beautiful, <laughs> worth every single moment to recreate it and I uh, I love it I absolutely love it I also am so happy that I went dark with it there was literally teetering on the edge of I'm not sure and then when I put it in here and then I started styling it up and it just all came together I was like this is beautiful like absolutely perfect I can't I can't tell you how happy I am of this turnout and it just once again inspires me to continue DIY and making over this home so I am fully ready to start some more projects around the house some bigger projects and yeah just start kind of get into the finishing line with how I want to have this home decorated. If you like this video, do give me a thumbs up. I am, hello, hi baby. I'm so ready to kind of like start doing more. I think I should be able to start doing weekly videos again very, very soon. I'm not making any promises, but I will certainly try to start doing regular content. So if you're not subscribed already, do subscribe, hit the button somewhere, wherever the button is. I'm not sure where I am officially when this video goes live, but as I am, Speaking to you now, we are so close to 1,000 followers, so it'd be lovely to have more of you join me on this journey. Um, so yeah, please do subscribe if not so already. <laughs> Thank you. Give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Just let me know what you thought about this DIY, any other DIYs you think I should be trying out. Yeah, like, rate, subscribe and all that. Have you got anything to add to this stash? Well, thank you so much guys for tuning into this video and have a lovely rest of your day and I will see you guys very, very soon.
Bye.